And when I say loving presence, I mean by that, uh, it's like the two wings. We have the wing of, of awareness, we could call the masculine principle. We engage. It's the wing of presence. It's the, it's the clear seeing. It's the being, it enables us to face what is and not get so identified and wrapped in it. And then we also have the other wing, which mm, is not often so often engaged, is the love. But love, not as a smothering love, a love that truly can be this hand and embrace this frightened, this frightened one, this so-called ego that we have built and say, it's okay, you two get to be here. Because otherwise we get too overwhelmed and we get into our mind and then we shoot out. It's not truly transcendence. It's just checking out. So when this loving, this loving is engaged, loving is also meaning we engage with the world. We engage with each other. Because love says, I do, I do care about you. I may know that we're one, but I do care about you. I want to get to know you as a real person. And in this place, when we're so frightened, maybe we can relax with feeling what holds us right now. But sometimes it helps us to gain courage by asking, but engaging wonderment. How do you engage wonderment when you're terrified? It's a simple question of, I wonder how it would be if I, rely, if I let go in this moment. How would it, I wonder how it would be if I pause before I react. I wonder how it would be, how it is, if in this moment I open my heart to, into this world and let it break. I wonder what will emerge from there. And it is this wonderment that I believe we need right now. So it can inspire us to act, to show up in our world.